The chance of another interest rate cut this year is fading fast after figures showed our economy is growing faster than expected. It grew 1.1% in the first three months of the year, more than twice the pace that was predicted. So are we finally back in growth mode? Well, with us now is Dominic Stevens, the Chief Economist at Westpac. Good morning to you. Good morning. Why exactly was it quite so strong? Is it all about dairy? Well, I think that is part of it. So we had very good growing conditions, lots of rain and lots of sunshine at the same time. And that's affected downstream manufacturing this time. But the, perhaps the surprising part this time was that it was very, very broad-based strength, particularly in business services, and that's something of a bellwether. It's not buffeted about by weather or anything like that, and it's associated with lots of parts of the economy. So look, our prediction this time was 0.7, but if you step back to the bigger picture, our consistent message over the past year has been the economy was hit hard by the Christchurch earthquakes. As we recover from that and enter the rebuilding phase, we've long been expecting a big acceleration in growth. But having said that, very little of this, in fact none, 0.1 contraction, uh, contraction in construction. So is it coming from the Christchurch rebuild? Well there was a little bit of activity in Christchurch, it's sort of slowly building up. Uh, what, I'm slightly concerned that Statistics New Zealand isn't fully measuring what's going on there, so repairs to houses may not be adequately captured. Uh, the suggestion is that the construction sector in the rest of New Zealand was actually pretty weak in March, but there's a wealth of other evidence suggesting that the construction sector is ramping up. For example, the number of consents issued has been very, very strong. So I think going forward we can expect to see much larger contributions coming from the construction sector and contributing to strong GDP growth over 2012. So strong GDP growth this year, does that mean this kind of pace we might keep up? We may do. We've got the, there's always going to be ups and downs and volatility from quarter to quarter, but yes, um, pretty much most economists and particularly Westpac have long been predicting sort of 3% type growth rates for, for 2012. So when might we see the consumer start to feel a bit better because they're still not spending much. In fact, there was a drop off at the start of this year. Well, that's right. That's another thing about this quarter, actually. The, the March quarter was uh, the post Rugby World Cup letdown, if you like. So retailing actually went backwards. What we found, though, is that New Zealanders are starting to take advantage of the high exchange rate. So there was a 16% increase in spending on overseas holidays as people sort of imported services, if you like. What does it mean for the Reserve Bank? Does it mean he's, the Reserve Bank governor is any less likely to cut rates or any more likely to bring forward when he might hike them? I think the odds of a cut haven't particularly changed. So the Reserve Bank governor made it pretty clear that it only reduced the OCR in the event of a real disaster in Europe and the odds of that haven't particularly changed on these GDP numbers. I do think if we continue to see very strong GDP growth there's a possibility that the Reserve Bank might increase the OCR more frequently next year. But their view they're of the view that uh, the growth in Christchurch can happen without a great deal of inflation and I'm not sure that view will really be tested until 2013. So in summary our, our opinion is that the OCR will rise four times in 2013 against the Reserve Bank's current uh, expectation of only two. What about the government? If, gro if we're growing at a rate like this, does it make it any more likely that they'll get back to surplus when they were hoping to? It's, it's in that direction. Um, a little bit, the stronger growth's come through slightly early, but again, the Treasury has long been forecasting a big acceleration in growth, and indeed the Treasury is quite optimistic on the, the Canterbury rebuild, which they expect will generate a lot of GST revenue. We're still perhaps um, a little wary that GST revenues might not be that strong over the next few years. What makes you wary about that? We're not so sure the Canterbury rebuild can happen at the pace the Treasury is forecasting. Thank you very much Dominic. That is Dominic Stevens, the Chief Economist at Westpac.